Management. In this video, I am going to show the integration between Jira Service Management and Atlassian's status page. So first of all, we must understand the incident management is very crucial in IT industries. So it is very important for us to handle outages as quickly as possible to reduce the downtime. So for that, we need to notify the teams as quickly as possible. So as a DevOps practice, we must have the integration between all necessary tools. So for that case, actually, I am going to do the integration between a Jira service management project with status page. Usually in organizations, we create Jira tickets to track Okay, outages or any service requests or any incidents. So especially in this video, we are going to talk about the incident management. So usually outages also uh, will be created in Jira platform. So here I am in a Jira service management project. So here I am going to use automation rule to auto create incident in the status page whenever there is an outage is created in Jira service management project. Okay, so this is the document which is available for us. Okay, this is from Atlassian. So this is for automatic incident management with Jira and status page. Okay, so if you don't have this integration as of now, you must have it and I suggest you to have this integration so let me create this automation rule. Here, the trigger is issue created. And the condition I am using is issue type condition. And I am taking incident as a condition. In organizations, we have like, you know, uh, the separate fees to separate uh, outage from all other incidents, okay? like major incident field or like outage field having options like yes or no. So like that, we will have uh, different fields to separate outages from incidents. So, but for this video, I am not using uh, any, uh, you know, separate field. So here I am having only one condition that is incident issue. And the action is webhook. So this is the action web request. So here we need to give the webhook URL. So you can have that in this document. And if you go to the send web request action there, you can have this link readily available. So you just copy that link and paste here. And in the header, you need to enter authorization what? Just paste this here. So in this URL, you need to give your status page code. Uh, okay, so it is available in the status page. And here you need to give the API key. And the HTTP method is post. And web request body is custom data. So here, uh, you need to give the custom data to, the, the, to this automation rule. Therefore, it will update the status page. Okay. And this is also available in the documentation. So here, this is the incident and name. So this is the issue summary. So what happens is the status page message will be taken from the issue summary. So let me write that. So incident incident. Okay. So incident and just open bracket and give the incident name. Okay, as yes, issue summary. Now just close this. So here. Now, uh, the remaining thing you need to give the page code and you need to give the API. So, if you go to the status page and go to the settings, there you can have the API info. So, here you can have the API keys. So, just copy this API key 
and paste this here. Okay. And after that, you have the page code here. Please copy that and paste that here. Right? Just save this. So it is create status page. Okay, just turn it on. So actually, this rule is uh, helpful in creating the status page incidents only. You know, we cannot update the status page incident or we cannot resolve the status page incident by using this rule. So we need to have separate rules for them. Okay, so for this video, we just see how to create status page incident by using the automation tool. Okay, right now, let us test this. We are ready. Just test this. Wait. So see here, the incident uh, issue type is incident. Just uh, write the summary. Create status page incident via automation automation tool. Okay. Create. Create a status page. Let's click on create. So now the system incident has been created. Therefore, this rule must uh, send a web request to the status page. So let me go to the audit log. There you have some errors. You can see that, yeah, there is some error. I think the problem is here. Yeah. Okay, let me save this. Let me create one more time. Create status page. Let me keep this simple. Create status. One create. So now if we check the audit log. Where you can see this is success. Okay. So if you go to the status page and we go to Yasi here, the status page incident is open. So as soon as the Jira is created, the subscribers of the status page also get notification about the outage. Okay, which has happened just now. So this is like, you know, uh, we are reducing the, you know, uh, passing the information to the right team. Okay. Right. Thank you.